Hi guys, this is Rahul and you're welcome to GoMahamaya.com. In this beautiful tutorial, we'll learn how to use the video widgets of the Elementor plugin. So to get started, you can drag and drop the video widgets to any of your column or the sections you already created. If you haven't created, you can go to this plus add new sections, click on that, choose the column type. I'm going to choose the single column and then I'm going to this option and then I'm going to drag and drop the video. You can go back and add some headings to your video. I'm going to add this heading and I'm going to increase the size of my text, change the color. And now let's come back to the video section. Click on the edit of the video. First option inside the video element is the source. Number one, you can choose the source like number one, YouTube, number two, Vimeo, number three, uh, Daily Motion, and number fourth is self hosted. What is the video you are hosting on your own platform? You can paste here. We'll discuss one by one. YouTube, once you select the YouTube, you can go to youtube.com and if you want to upload any of your video you can go upload it or if you want to choose any of the song you just select the song pause it then click on share choose the link and paste in this area and it's got embedded now i don't want this video for my tutorial Currently, I'm going to use the Elementor video for the tutorial. Now, you want to mention the start time. Let's say you want the video to start after 30 seconds. Place here 30 seconds. And this timing is in seconds. Here you can see especially start time in seconds. And in time in seconds. Let's say I want to end the video after 50 seconds. So now if I'll click play, you can see the video itself is only 15 seconds, 16 seconds. So I'm going to change it 8 to 16. If I'll play, start from 8 seconds and then it will end at 16 seconds. Next option, we have the video option. You want it to auto play, you just turn it on. Whenever anyone comes to your website, this video is going to auto play. And of course, this sign I'm going to tell you that it will be muted. The video audio will be muted no matter you choose whatever option is there in the Elementor. You may directly from YouTube, you do whatever you want. This audio player will be muted. Browsers implemented this feature that all the video will be muted unless and until someone or the visitor unmute it. Next option we have play on mobile. Yes, go ahead and play on the mobile. Next option we have mute. You choose it or not, but it will be automatically muted. Next option we have is loop. When you click no, currently the video got stopped. If I'll start the loop, it will auto play the video and it will loop again after reaching the 16 second. See again reaching the 8 point and starting from beginning again. So this is what loop is going to do. Next we have player control. Here you can see the player controls are there. So you can control the player controls by hiding the player control. Here you can see player control. Now there's no player control. YouTube icon is there that you can hide by choosing the player controls. And once you turn this on, you'll see the modest branding is turning on and off. So what is that modest branding? This video player will be there, everything will be there. This modest branding will be there that you could not see the YouTube here. Let's say, let me turn this on. And the YouTube term went off. Like no one can exactly tell you the whether the video is hosted on the YouTube or not. And next we have privacy mode. So you can turn this on to protect your client or the visitor personal information going into YouTube. Next option we have is the lazy loading. When you turn this on, there will be lazy loading on the video. That means your website page loading is going to increase when you turn on the lazy loading. Unless and until any of your visitor website visitor reaches this particular section, this is not going to load. 
next option we have is suggested video here you can see the suggestion from current channel that i'm getting suggestion only from the elementor you can give suggestion to any channel like youtube is going to promote other channel in the suggestion i'm going to choose the current channel because i want to promote only elementor videos i don't want to suggest any other videos so like that will be your channel in case you are using the youtube next option we have is image overlay when you turn on the image overlay there will be a image on front screen on the top of a video now click on choose image select any of the image which you want to paste on the top of the screen insert here you can manage the size i'll choose the large and then there's a play icon you can turn this off or the on and next there's a light box option when you turn on the play icon if you'll go to style you can manage the color and the size of the play icon that we are going to learn soon go back and there we have light box there's a light box pop up is going to make once you click on the video let me turn this on let me click on the video here you can see there's a light box pop up for this you can use light box to turn this off and on next option we have style inside style first option we have is the aspect ratio you can maintain 1 is to 1 you can maintain 3 is to 2 you can maintain 16 is to 9 or anything which you like the aspect ratio to be there and next option we have a css filter you can add blur brightness contrast saturation and hue for your video and your video background next option we have is a play icon so just to control the play icon i'm going to cancel this off i'll click on edit and inside play icon we have first option that is color you can give any color to the play icon let's choose something which suits your color next option we have size size of this particular icon on each and every device you can control let's say this icon size is for desktop i want to change for the tablet if i click on the tablet you can see the icon size is too large so for the desktop for the tablet i'm going to decrease the size then for mobile i'm going to control it too for mobile it will be this much now we are going to check for the desktop next for tablet next for mobile it's looking smaller right next option we have is shadow just click on this and then you have option to edit the blur option the blur option of this particular icon let's say if there is a horizontal you just match it give little shadow and then give a blur effect you can manage the horizontal it will look more better in case you are using the white background or some color which shines here let me choose other color you can see like this black color shadow is there so you can control a horizontal and vertical of this particular shadow using this control now we have option called light box what the light light box was popping up when you click on the video for that you can control the pop-up and the background color ui color and ui hover let's say for the pop-up background we'll click on the video background color is none you can add a background color based on your design let's say i want to give the background color this then we have ui color and the ui hover this is the ui color let me change it to something called red this is the ui color and this is the ui hover when you hover over this it will get changed to something other color let me make it yellow now if you'll hover it will become yellow this is ui hover color and next you can manage the content width the size of the video frame next option we have content position light box pop up you want there to be on the top 
or you want that to be in the center next option we have enhance animation how you want the slide box pop up to appear when the people they click on it fade in down or you want fade in right or you want fade in up or you want zoom in zoom out so you can add these animations so this much only was that in the youtube videos next we are going to content section again and then we are going to change to vimeo i'll cancel this off and i'll click edit then vimeo video is there so if you have hosted any of your video inside the vimeo you go to the videos and then you'll find share option copy the link and paste in this area i'll remove the overlay image just for now and then you can see your vimeo video and there's a start time there's no end time control for vimeo you can start at any point you want let's say i want to start at 10 seconds here you can see my cursor went to 10 second and autoplay is there you can manage autoplay on the mobile mute the video loop introduction title these part we have already discussed in the youtube videos so i'm not going to discuss these part again we have new option that is intro title this is the intro title you can control turn this off and you're not going to see the intro title and next option we have intro portrait to understand what is intro portrait you have to turn on intro title next you are seeing this particular logo you can turn this off by choosing intro portrait that logo went off and then you can turn off intro by line so that channel option also went off now you can turn off the intro title if you turn off intro title this is going to turn off everything from this video player and next option we have control color here you can see the icon color is blue here you can see it's blue but i want it to change it to my own custom design let me make it something called orange and here you can see it's turned to orange so these are the control you can make using the vimeo same way you can make the image overlay on the vimeo next we'll move on to style you can maintain the aspect ratio and you can maintain the css filter if you're going to use something called image overlay then you can also manage the light box and the icon play icon video and the light box pop up style it will be same like the youtube again we'll go back to the content and next option we have is daily motion let me turn off the image overlay to understand how daily motion works when you select daily motion you'll find a link in this area you can paste your link go to daily motion once you're on the daily motion page you selected your video then copy the link of the video and paste in this area and you'll see your video will get embedded you can control the start time for your video and then you can choose autoplay play on mobiles mute mode you can turn it off and on you can control the players control you can remove any let me remove there's a blur blur option i have to remove this particular blur from css effect just i removed it and then we have player control if i hover over this you can see the player control i'll turn it off and you cannot see any player control it will be all completely branded you can turn off the video info i'll pause this and i'll turn on player control and then you can see here the video info so this is the video info you manage with the video info setting and then we have a logo that you can turn off or on then we have controls color here if you hover over the video you can see there's a control color that is yellow that we selected for the vimeo videos that you can change and make it something to blue now if i'll play you'll see the blue color next similarly you can add the image overlay and you can control the vimeo aspect ratio css filter and you can adjust image overlay if you're turning this on next option we have inside the content 
is self hosted videos if you have hosted your video somewhere else you can enable this and paste the url or you can choose the video from your gallery hosting the video on your own gallery is not recommended because your server is not optimized to deliver the video at the fastest speed so use some source like youtube vimeo daily hosted platforms to host your videos so i hope you find this video useful if you did give thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more further updates thank you